Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're just going to take a quick look at the exclusive version of Dimitri from Storm Collectibles. I reviewed the other one, which came in the P1 colors, which is apparently accurate, the P1 thing, but apparently most people like the P2 colors. I even thought P2, which is this darker blue, was the P1, and so I don't know what the deal is, but either way, you do have the option to buy either one. Uh, this one is still available at Big Bad Toy Store as of the time of this recording. Uh, so I figured I'd give you guys a quick look at it just so you can decide for yourself if you want to get it. Now, I don't have the other one on hand to show you, but I did review it, so I'll put it up there in the in the little corner thingy. But he does have this color scheme with the pale blue. Okay, so let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a quick look. All right, so like I said, I already reviewed the other one, and just to go over it, it's funny because they use the same imaging on the packaging. So this is what the regular release looks like, the P1 in the grayish blue. And then this was also on the packaging of the regular release, that and that's what matches this one. And that's the one I like more, so that's why I got this one. I will say I think the little gold buttons on his pants should be a little bit more yellow and the boots should have a little bit more saturation, but otherwise the colors are pretty darn good. Maybe some browner hair instead of red, but it still looks pretty nice. This one is some sort of exclusive uh, BBICN, whatever that is, I don't know, but it is available at Big Bad Toy Store, so you can check that out. Other interesting note is this one does say Vampire on it rather than Darkstalkers. So I don't know, I don't know what's up with that. Not the most familiar with the whole Dark Stalkers, Vampire, whatever thing, but I like Dimitri. I'm going to collect all the Capcom stuff from Storm for sure, so I wanted to get this. Skin tone's basically the same, hair's basically the same. Basically, the, the only difference is the outfit, which makes sense. We have the nice bright red on the inside of the coat, on the shirt here, and then on the inside of this part, or on the inside of the cape, then on the inside of the coat as well. And then we have a very nice, very saturated dark blue everywhere again. The boots, I think, should be a little bit more saturated, more brown going on. And then the buttons are a little bit pale as well. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. As far as QC on this guy, it seems about the same. I had some bad luck. I don't think it's like an actual thing, though, because it is just a repaint. There shouldn't be any molding issues. Uh, this leg was not connected all the way when I got it, so I just popped it back on. So that's okay. And this arm seems slightly more loose at the ball connection. But again, that's just the kind of thing that's going to vary from release to release or from figure to figure anyway. So nothing to really worry about. I think you should be fine. I haven't had any trouble with it. And I will say, just generally speaking, this color scheme is way more appealing. The, the muted colors on the other one might be accurate to source material. But if you have a choice, I would imagine P2 would be more appealing to most people. It's going to look better on a shelf. Just more color. More color equals more better. So uh, now you know. And he does have the darker blue cape, which gives it a nice little bit of... Flare. Yeah, I think browner hair and browner boots would be great, and otherwise it's pretty solid. The buttons aren't that big of a deal, so I'm going to recommend it if you're inclined to get the darker, more saturated one. You can't really go wrong. It looks nice. Hopefully those slight issues I had with the QC aren't a big deal and aren't a thing for other people. I'm guessing they won't be, so you should be good. But there it is. Now you know if you want to get a dark blue one, you can. Otherwise, get the get the light blue one. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, I've got over 4,000 reviews on the channel, so make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.